<laughs> Remember when we used to? Yeah. I was alone in the house with her when it... She died at the kitchen table while sipping a cup of tea. Lapsang Suchong was her favorite blend. I haven't been able to look at an old lady or drink a cup of Twinings ever since. You know, every time I see someone hunched over asleep on a park bench or in the subway, I have this uncontrollable urge to, you know, just go and just to make sure that they haven't. Isn't that crazy? You know, the doctor asked him to help move the body from the kitchen to the bedroom. I mean, she was beginning to turn blue. and So I grabbed one end and he the other. She was incredibly heavy, like dead weighted by now and the doctor had a very bad back and once or twice he practically i remember this terrible thought flashed through my mind that he might have a heart attack also and then i'd be left with the two of them there on the living room carpet <laughs> no you know i wanted them to scatter the ashes to the four winds off montauk point so the parts of Oregon ended up in London, Nantucket, Atlanta, and somewhere past Idaho. She'd always wanted to travel. But they didn't do that. They put her in an urn and into the earth, just in case that's what she wanted. I mean, they hadn't known what she wanted, so first they did one thing, and then they did the other, and then they wound up doing neither, really. They... I don't know what they did. You know, the dying wasn't the worst part. It was the sense of obligation that I couldn't stand. I mean, the dying was just... One minute I was talking to her, and the next minute I was still talking to her, but she was just dead now. And I just found that to be, at the time, somehow kind of funny. <laughs>